hi welcome to my channel it's been a while here but now i am fully back and better please stay around hit the subscribe button because now we will have it back to back tutorials um today we're dealing on cargo pockets and then the measurements needed for this tutorial is 12 by 12 inches so i am using a denim fabric for this tutorial and then I have gone ahead to mark my 12 by 12 and I am cutting it out. So I am just ensuring that there is no other fabric under the main fabric that will be cutting. So I'll go ahead and cut out the 12 by 12 inches. Although this is a bit more than 12, I'll be trimming out the excesses once I am done with this cutting. Okay, so let's continue now here i'm having a part that is not straight you know i said they are a bit excess so i'm taking out the excesses to give me the exact 12 by 12 inches cargo pockets can be put on skirts you can have it on your trouser on your pants it's all you can have it on shorts it all depends on you so now that i have my 12 by 12 I am going to look for the midpoint of this 12 by 12 inches and the midpoint will be 6. I am going to ha have it folded just as you see it's been done like this. I need two of those pockets so this is the second one already folded as well. Now I'll go ahead and mark one inch. After marking this one inch I'll go ahead and extend it by three inches. I'll do this, repeat this process for both edges of the folded parts. You can make this um, 2.5 or three inches depending on you. And also note that you can decide to have this on the other side, that is the fashion fabric, not on the wrong side of the fabric either way it depends on your style so um having marked this i want to go ahead and stitch and here i have already stitched it it is stitched then the next thing i will do look for the midpoint of the stitched parts and still go ahead and give it a good press look at this so i'm going to press it down like this like i said what we are currently doing on the wrong side of this fabric can be replicated on the other side it depends on you so this is what i have after station remember i am doing two pockets so you can have any number you want any numbers of pockets you want so the next thing i'll go ahead is fold each of the edges into half inch and press it down just like you see me doing here i'm folding half inch i'll go to the other side fold another half inch press it down again then once i am done i'll go to the other side again press it down then i'll also do the hopper parts as well fold by half inch now after folding this part by half inch which i'll go ahead and iron i'll still fold it again by another one inch this is going to be the opening side of the pockets okay this is the top side of the pockets this is where the opening is now having done that this is what i have so the next thing i'll be doing is to mark one inch on each of the edges again now pay attention to this this is the upper part and the opening of the pocket now this is the height of the pocket i mean this is this depends on you you can make it 1.5 you can make it one inch depending on how big you want your pockets to be so i am just going to go ahead and mark the one inch on both side and also on the down parts leaving only 
the upper part which are already folded one inch now after marking it i'm going to fold and iron again just like we did for the half inch now i'm going to you see this tiny part that i already marked i'm going to give a tiny stitch on it like a top stitch so i'll go to my sewing machine now just watch as i do this now this is the upper part i'm stitching that part down carefully now this is the mark the other side that i marked you know i only didn't mark the upper part because i've already stitched down one so the part i said i'm going to stop top stitch i'll go ahead and do that now give it a very tiny stitch just exactly the points i have marked look at this i am done doing the stitch now this is what i have pay close attention to this look at this point i'm going to flip it to the other side and hold it just like so i don't know how best to explain this but please just watch now having done the stitches all around this is what you have now look at this just put a finger in between the angle the one on the down parts look at it bring it together now i'll turn it over and stitch that excess part you see i'm just going to go ahead and stitch this point then i'll be cutting out that excess just as i have pointed now i have stitched it out i have stitched it down and this is my skirt so i'm going to come down by three inches and place this you can determine where you want your pockets to be in this tutorial we are just focusing on the pocket so i'm just going to place it down and i'll go ahead and that half and stitch down that half inch that we folded him and i'll top stitch again over my skirt if you're doing this on the pants it is the same procedure so i'm going to split the pocket i'm going to make sure the pocket is in between this means that half of the pocket is going to be in the front and the remaining will be at the back this is if you're having your pocket on the side okay so that means for instance if what you have left in your pocket is five inches 2.5 is coming to the front and the remaining 2.5 is going to the back okay so i'm just going to gently place my pocket on my skirt like so if you're doing this on the pants it is the same procedure i'm just going to go gently stitch the down parts please don't forget to subscribe to my channel um if you would like to see more of this, I promise to bring you more valuable content if only you will hang around. Now I am done. I'll just measure what I have there. I have five inches. So I just want to cut out the cover, the pocket cover. So um, I just want to quickly show you this on the pattern. Uh, measure five by three inches. That's the width of the pockets by three inches. Then cut it out. Now, after cutting it out, I'm going to fold this into two and try to give it a cuff on the side. You know, I can just go in by 0 0.75 up and down like so. And just trace it out to make it a bit curvy. Then cut it once i am done cutting this is what i will have so i'm going to cut two of these on my fabric then use it to turn each other do you understand then i'll place it one inch above the pocket and i am done thank you for watching